Hi guys, so I know I say this all the, all the, all the time. If you follow me on any of my social media outlets, you know that I say this all the time, but this has been like the best month of my life. Um, maybe, yeah. As most of you know, I made a big transition and I left uh, my life in the mountains living alone, learning about myself and uh, being in nature to make a big decision and come to the city. And uh, I had my vehicle outfitted so that I could uh, live on the road. And my plan was just to kind of spend some time in cities and places that I had been interested in and figure out what felt right. I think there was also a part of me that kind of just wanted the adventure. Uh, you know, I, I grew up uh, idolizing people like Christopher McCandless from Into the Wild. Um, you know, just people who kind of gave up the normal way of living in life and uh, went on their own path. While it was important to me to have that experience that I really wanted, I started to realize that I needed to be uh, with people and that connections and relationships and communities and networks are the thing that keeps you going. You know, that, that's, that's what keeps you going in life, love um, of all kinds. So I think for me, the beginning of this trip was sort of like a way of proving to myself that this was something I could do for fun uh, in the craziest time of year, which was December. Uh, very cold in Canada. You all know I sold all of my belongings. I gave away a lot of things. I made multiple trips to Goodwill. I just wanted to exist in the world, not be held down by things, not be tied in by rental agreements, and just have the least amount of responsibilities or concerns a person could possibly have. And I did that for a while, and I will say it feels rather odd and uh, disorienting. So here's where I have to jump in and say that it was also pretty fun. Initially I was in Calgary and when it got too cold I just googled warmest place in Canada and found myself making the 14-hour drive to Victoria BC. I drove for seven hours, I hit the gym, I slept for four hours and then I hit the road again in the morning and that was my first ever ferry ride. The deep water and rolling waves are hypnotic to me. I just imagine all the whales in there. I was blown away instantly by how much I loved Victoria. And I knew uh, that I wanted to stay here. So I spent two weeks in my SUV traveling the coast and checking things out. And staying in my vehicle was not difficult at all. I slept like a baby by the sea every night. And I'd, I'd wake up and go to the gym. I've settled on Victoria though, so I'm staying. And there's no longer a need for me to travel around. So I'm still interested in the minimalist lifestyle. I don't want to be buying more furniture and more stuff. So the perfect convenience for me right now is staying in a residential suite at a seaside hotel. And I've been here 10 days so far while I get used to City and find somewhere to move more long term. Although I quite like it here at the hotel, so I'm thinking about staying maybe for a few more months, even. I mean, housekeeping, room service, turn down service, it's all very convenient. And uh, I, mean, I have heated, uh, gated underground parking, I have a fireplace to right beside, I have a bunch of bikes to borrow anytime I want. Um, I feel like I have everything I need. So I thought in this video, we'll take a look back over the last year for me and also check out clips from some videos that didn't get published. And then I'm also going to give you a short little look around this suite I'm staying in. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, He's looking at us. He's not worried one bit. I know! Maybe it's Bullwinkle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I made it here to my old forestry base. I'm going to walk in and go to my old cabin, which I hope is still standing. 
and take some video there. So yeah, let's see what happens. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're still here. The little cabin I used to live in. It is still here. Oh my god. And now we will leave. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, so check this out. This is where I, one of the places I used to live. And you can come in here and you can really clean it up. Like those wood stoves are awesome. And then you get like a mattress from the warehouse and sweep it out and clear the debris off the roof. So. Okay, now we can get out of here. Thumbs up if you want to have beautiful teeth for life. What if you looked at everything in your life and said, I am responsible, everything. I read old books, I write my own things, I observe people for my entertainment, you know, I listen to stories from other people about their lives. Um, I don't go looking to these outside sources to tell me how I should feel or what's going on in the world. So remember that, create your own opportunities and always offer value. I put on workshops, I see clients over Skype, I have an ebook that I sell, a best selling one that I'm going to pitch at the end. <laughs> don't worry, hold on. Entrepreneurs don't just show up and do the bare minimum and collect a paycheck. We look for opportunities, we create value in the world. There are a lot of people who live mediocre lives and they love articles like this because for them it proves that it's not possible to do unconventional things, to be successful at whatever you choose, and it makes them feel better about their lives. Don't let them get to you, it's not true. Just exposing yourself to this kind of information puts seeds in your subconscious that start to build and start to grow. And when you're ready to harvest the fruit of your subconscious mind from all the information you've been putting into it about passive income and positive things and Adele Ramcharan's YouTube videos, you will have all the knowledge that you need. my kitchen and I've got stove top and here I've got tons of cooking things a blender I've got my dishwasher coffee press I've got wine and water still pretty overpriced like most places I've got a lot of things in the wash right now but it's a toaster, a colander, there's like everything you would need. A bunch of things for entertaining. I got a bunch of those cups in there. We were drinking champagne the other day. But uh, yeah, tea. Um, oh, and there's a fridge. We don't keep much things in there. What is this? A cucumber freezer. Okay, so first of all, these floors. They're like a glazed stone floor, which I love. They've got this beautiful texture. They're heated. And then we've got this bathtub. The bathtub was part of what sold me on this whole thing. I love the kind of glazed, you can't really see, it's like the 
the white is quite glossy. It's really beautiful. Um, got some nature pictures. I love this rack. It um, has a switch to heat it, so you have a, a warm towel. Um, this shower, I know it might look pretty basic. That light turns on and off. And a body is like my dream shower. And I've been in a bunch of really extravagant showers, but this one is just perfect. The, I love the glaze on the bottom. Again, it's got this white glossy finish, which is very pristine. I love white pristine from my living situation. The nozzle is great. And this, like, I love how it's kind of open, but cut off from the tub. It's got a built-in, this marble uh, ledge. It's really useful, which I love. This is the countertop with all of my stuff in it. Lots of room. I love this big deep sink. I love the marble. So let's avoid this mirror, which is an awesome mirror. <laughs> and then here are the lights, which are really beautiful. I've got a dimmer switch in here. Look at this. Oh, I freaking love this. I have the most romantic bath time ever. Here's the fitness center. Which is now playing Savage Garden. <laughs> I don't know if it gets more perfect than that. I prefer working out at the gym with uh, other people, though. 